Hey guys, and welcome to A Monkey Plays Prey. Uh, as you can see, I've only played for about an hour and 25 minutes, and I've gotten nowhere in that hour and 25 minutes. So, I thought I'd just make it into a series. Because why not? Everybody else is, so... Normal... We'll go with dude, cause dude. Now entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Fifteen years to go before we're in space! Well, uh, it's completely, you know, this. Okay, back in. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15, 2032. Hmm. Send a helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. It's easy, sir. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Mm -hmm. Like old times. Oh, it looks so peaceful outside. It looks like we're in San Francisco? I did Hey, I didn't know this game had a lean function. Hey, you learn something new every day. Uh, it's a mixture of the Xbox and PlayStation? Can I... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Comic book. I <laughs> I can't carry my couch, but I can carry the pillow. Oops. Let me just put you back on the couch. There we go. Um. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under ten minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but, uh, uh, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I've reverted. I'm reverted. It riveted. Uh, blah, blah. He's not bullshitting me himself. Maybe? Me? No. Alex learns. Uh, leans back in his... What? Welcome to the age of neuromods? Who's he talking to? Okay, I guess just a... Uh... Congrats, Morgan! Alex. Let's drink it! Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can't drink this. Heart of the walk. Cooking a well-seasoned walk can be sublime. Almost spiritual experience. Many layers of the blackened serpents are like stored memories in all of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new me What? Okay. Right. Ooh. Sun-dried tomato jerky. That kind of sounds good. Come 
I can. Can I? Can I put it in the sink? Oh nope. Oh, oh I'm. I'm in my skivvies. There we go. Oh, it doesn't create soapy water. Oh well. Um. <laughs> Let's just leave that running. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, you can only do one. Sky King pomegranate? Okay. I actually think we should turn that off. Oops. Whoops. Oh, well. Is that... What is it? Is it a Zen garden? kind of deal. I'm just gonna... Wait. Wait. Whoops. Wait. Uh, can I... Can I do it? No. Come on. Give it to me. Ah. Uh, oh well. Worth a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about food. <laughs> Whoops. That was... Ooh. Lucky's Pizzeria. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's see. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your official work day is Monday, March 15th. But we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos One Research Facility. Uh, hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Ready. Uh, hey, I just got off the phone with Mom and Dad. They won't be there when I when the shuttle departs. They're in New York City. I don't know. Uh, company stuff. But they send their best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So, there you go. That's Mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably call you in the morning. Make sure you're up. See you very soon. Oh, see you very, very soon, Morgan. Aha! So I don't even have to throw things. Wait, I wonder if I can... It's even faster! What the heck was that? Is that the TV? What the... Oops. Monday, March 15th, 2032. It's 80 degrees this side. Oh, that's not bad. Low is 75. That sounds so nice. Hmm. I have not gone anywhere yet. Either way, I think we should get to it anyway. I've wasted enough time in here. Ooh. Clothes, shoes, pass? Uh, no, that's, um, oh my god, I know what that is. By the way, uh, Austin, Great Wall of China, Kennedy Space Center, whatever that's supposed to be. Hmm, okay. 
All right, there's this thing. Ooh. Uh, do I not? Is the Neuromod not in there? What's that? Is it a plug? Morning, Mr. Yu. Uh, hello. Can I just? Do you need this? Oops. Huh. Are, <laughs> are you sighing because I picked it up and took it? Okay. Roof. <laughs> Helicopter. Echelon Residential Tower. Into the helicopter. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Ooh. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Bethesda Softbox presents. Clear skies all the way. Sphere distribution. ISO. Oh, look at that boat. That's a nice view on the bay there. An Arkin Studios production. Random dude. Where are we? Pray. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Oh, hello. Hi. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Okay. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Mm-hmm. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Okay. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. Okay. Sounds nice, I guess. My instruments are calibrated for high-volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry. Nothing will be missed. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More, if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. Uh-huh. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. Minimum what? Calibrating. The last frontier is the human mind, and we are its pioneers. Hello. I... Calibrating. Oh, I want to get behind you. There we go. Nope, nope. Now you get. Now I get to stay behind you. No, no. Should I change position? <laughs> Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a. 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Okay. Let's confirm. Um, confirm. Snazzy. Morgan, finally. Alex. It's 
security guy. With a weird looking beard. Whoa, hey, I have a light! Oh, hey! And not only can I lean, I have a flashlight! Huh. Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I, I guess. This might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Mm -hmm. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay. Dr. Yu. Hmm. Hello? Good morning, Morgan. Morning. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Okay. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even throw it at the class. That time I did. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay. Here, let's do this. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Yes, I am. Hmm, Is uh, that not what you wanted? Any synaptic register? At all? No? No, it's fine. Okay. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Hmm. Room C. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. Perfect. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Um, Simmons? I don't... I saw exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I don't understand. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. That? Nope, it's stopped. Okay. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Go get me some coffee too. Hey Morgan, yep. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. <laughs> Take a look at the screen in front of you. You and sat down. A series of questions. Okay. Get the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar, you know you love, or try something new. Uh, no. Uh, good. Looks like the heck was that? Keep going. What the heck? 
Uh, anyway, uh, you've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. Calm. It was worth it. Angry. No one has that right. I've done nothing Ooh, wrong. That's heavy stuff. Okay. A uh, runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. You switch tracks. Good. Next. Okay. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train, but they're not tied down. Uh, I'm not going to push the fat man. It's their own damn fault for standing in the tracks. Almost done. Uh, running train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. <laughs> you could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump on the tracks, push the fat man, or do nothing. Push the fat man. <laughs> Interesting. Well done. Well done. We nearly through it. Okay. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. Um. For the moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Um. Hmm. Oh. Um. Who farted? <clears throat> Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Mm. Today is Monday, March 15th. 2032. What? How is it March 15th, 2052? Or 2032. Oh my god. It was just. March 15th. Is it the same day? What time is it? Where'd my stuff go? Oh, it's back. Ooh, six emails. Leave now. What? Danger, leave now. EOM. Okay. From January. Right, um, nothing to be alarmed at. Oh, look, there's that, and the alcohol I drink. Something's, uh, Wait a minute, I broke that cup by accident. Oh, and now I'm standing on the TV. And it's gone! The TV ate it. Can I do the same thing? Oops, didn't, didn't hit it. Okay. That sounds like a paper cup hitting the ground. Or a plastic cup, actually. Red Solo cup, actually. Um... Okay. Okay, well, things are moving. I just, we... No, no, one's already been searched. Ooh, boots. Put the suit back on, I guess. Because I'm, uh... Um, you okay? Okay, um... Hello, Morgan. It's time 
we spoke. My code name is January. Uh -huh. Dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's oh, going fishy. on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not <gasps> safe. I can get in the fish tank. I want to get in the fish tank. Oops. I'm not gonna hurt the fishy. Haha, -ha, I can break that one too. Can't break that one. Well, the camera is tracking me. That's kind of spooky. Daily tests. What is it? There's an alarm going off. Uh, anyway, if you've been on branches of our main product line, you'll know that sometimes we need to put in an extra effort to hit our milestones. And any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. To move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Uh, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is ex oh my god, will the music calm down? Uh, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That to say nothing of long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely? A note about this morning. Instant left people shaken to prevent unnecessary panic. Please refrain from contacting people outside your department. A station wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar's and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical, st uh, critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and your dedication to this project. Alex, will you? So the testing was going on indefinitely? Hmm. Well, where do I go? Guessing that way, but I want to wander around for a bit. Like, what's this? Oh, look, there's the exit. What oh, sounds like a robot? Is it the camera? It is the... Uh, it is the camera. Stop it! Hate you. Observation, storage. Ooh, storage is over this way. Where's that? Where's that coming from? No. Oh. Hey. The fish is a lie. Let me in. I want in. Screw it, I'll go around. The fish is a lie. Hate you, fish. Wait, what? Simulation labs. 
Replacement props storage area. 744. ID number 428. Toilet paper. What, what the heck? Oh, I can open that door. Uh, soundstage rules. Absolute science when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Soundstage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment for after each test. Replacements from damaged props can be found in storage area. Okay. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. What the heck is that noise? It sounds like... Whoa! Oh, uh, you... Uh, hello? Little buddy? <gasps> Where'd you go? Uh, I'm... Okay, that door can stay closed. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and keep that closed. Let's take all the alcohol. Okay, now that we've dealt with whatever that was, let's go ahead and close that door. I may have, I may have, oh, um, Yeah, let's go ahead and use the med kit. About this morning, uh, oh, okay, that's just the same thing. Uh, note, authorized scene with scene transaction times includes when subject MU is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately to Dr. Sullivan Bellamy. Whoa. That's really cool. Hmm. Test management. What does that what did that just do? This? Oh. Whoops. Time to attack the plasmas. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful.
careful what you pick up. I didn't want to go in there. What the? Where did he go? Hi. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, you're so interesting. Okay. Nothing in the corpse. Okay. And there's one in there, too. I don't like that. Oh, burnt circuit board. More emails! Uh, da, 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 okay. Mergin's behavior. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the Deep Reef. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we, granted. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected. But the aggressive response to some set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start cha charting personality drift before future tests and debriefings and within the test itself. I don't like this. And I don't like those guys. Is he. <laughs> Hello? Little buddy? Where are you? What is that? Is that like lighting or something? Or. I. Oh hey, there you are. What what are you masquerading as? Are you in the floor? He's in the floor. Okay, anyway. Moving on. Storage space be control room. Can I I can. That's progression probably. We don't want progression. Oh, another person got eaten. You're floating now. <laughs> oh! Ooh! I... Oh my god. I'm... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> Jeez. Okay, anyway. Press OK to reset. Oh, sh shoot. Did I... I didn't... Okay, I didn't com fall completely. Thank God. And is there that hole over there? Yep, there is a hole over there. Right. Oh, hey. Useless junk. Cool. Oh! My god! Die! Die! <laughs> uh, uh. God damn it. He scared me half to death. I... Oh, hey. All right, time to make progression. Sorry, Joan. 
want to kill it, but I... Oh, it ain't that special. I feel like it'd be super easy though. They all disappeared. I don't like that. Hit everything. Biohazard waste. Don't trust everything. Of course. Okay. Uh, d d d next week's test. We'll need the room updated to new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Area of effect, copycat, and spooky action. Spooky action? What? Copycat? Spooky action? What the? I want to know what spooky action is more than, like... Area of effect and copycat. Because uh, those two are kind of self explanatory. But spooky action? What is it? Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken dead are related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be a morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. Uh. Oh, I can break it. I can break just about everything in this game, which is kind of cool. Okay, that chair's real. Oop. Okay. Where did they all go? Error. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Are you that chair? I. Oh. <laughs> oh, you were you were the chair that was falling over. I. Didn't think you were. Uh, simulation question. Uh, Alice Neuromod. Uh, hey, Alice. I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining a new skill from a Neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory form, uh, formation, so I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play piano like Gustav Littiner. It'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive prototype neuro mods that means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yous are dedicated to their science, is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later, Simons. Simmons. B Alice Ekin. Hmm. Okay, which, which one are you? I know you're over here. Okay. <laughs> I like how it uh We we both miss buddy. Oh, there we go. Why are you carrying shotgun shells? Screw your cell phone. Or phone, whatever. Uh, just go somewhere new. Angry, no one has that right. Switch tracks, do nothing. Push the fat man. <laughs> Daily tests. Hmm. 
Anyway. Okay, so at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. That's the same thing as before. Have my people been coming to you? Sil? Yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know, I can't divulge names, but there's definitely a spike in staff from your department recording instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse than the psycho... Run... Whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking to Kelstrip about migrating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that there are... These are not isolated instances. Going to mention it to Alex at the next director's meeting. Cole. I don't I don't even know what these flowers do. I'm just it's a Bethesda game. You go like it's like Skyrim. You go around just picking up plants just because you wanna oh, it's the twenty third of four uh, three years Wow Okay, I don't hear any more of the click clacking, so we're obviously in the clear. I don't have a key card. Did I? Was there a key card in here? Oh, there was. Simulation lab key card. Hi. What you doing? Okay, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but sure. The Nodic field. Nodic research, like a bold new idea, has undergone a predictable pattern in, scientific, uh, in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly con uh, concede the idea that might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers, and more importantly, the public. Finally, hmm. the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Ha ha ha. I don't like that noise. Oh. Repair one? Hmm. What the heck is this? Um, hi! Oh! You're alive! You're alive! First instinct, just beat it to death. Beat it to death. Where'd you go? It's like a cockroach. Oop. Huh. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> Stop. Where are you? No. Oh, you got. God. Okay. Did you? Oh no! You were killed yourself. Ooh. Midkit and oop. Oh. Transtar goo cannon. Jellyfoam. Lettuce organism obstructor. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue cannon. Oh, glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay. Hmm. 
Holding right trigger, he fires a continuous stream. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, hey guys! Come on. New aptitudes. I've already updated your Come on, guys. The list you requested. Take a look. Ha ha. Seriously? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Take the neuro mod. Neuromods and abilities. The Neuromod is a revolutionary trans star invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press the button to blah de blah blah blah. Conditioning? Nah. Uh, engineer? Leverage? Maybe. Fix broken graph shifts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts. Hacking. Hacking does sound useful, but I also want to repair stuff. Uh. Let's go over here and repair repair this. Oh, I only have two of three. Oh well. Hmm, backpack. Spare pots. I need four. Skill recording room, what does that even mean? What's in here? Carry? Ooh. That's cool. That's smart. Uh, let's look at everywhere else, too. Bathroom. Oh my god, uh, just, uh. Oh my god, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can't see myself. Hmm. Oh well. And the ladies' bathroom is completely. Oh, hey! Those footprints from way over there. Like over. Th oh, for a second, I. Ooh, flower! Flower! Give. Give me flour. God. Okay. Um. So. Oop. Favorite wheel. Yeah. Favorite wheels is just 
Ooh. Okay, so. Ooh, I don't like that. This is where I'm going to end the first episode. It's probably been a long one since I was just dicking around in the apartment for quite some time. Anyway, I'll put this out and then start working on episode two. In the meantime, I will see you guys later.